lost. I'm a guide. What do you say? <laughs> See, I'm something of it. Таня достала тент, и остальные накрылись им. Я поднялась коровиной. Глаза у Саши были огромные. In the summer of 1993, a group of young hikers set out into the Siberian wilderness, full of excitement and adventure. They never imagined that only one of them would return, and that the details of their mysterious deaths would baffle experts and spawn chilling theories for decades to come. Welcome to the story of the Kamar Daban incident, Russia's lesser known but equally terrifying Dyatlov Pass. Our story starts on August 2, 1993, when six young people, mostly in their early 20s, joined their experienced guide, 41-year-old Lyudmila Korovina, for a hiking expedition in the Kamar Daban mountain range in southeastern Siberia. This group was made up of nature enthusiasts ready to tackle the rugged terrain, and they trusted Lyudmila, who had led countless hikes before. This hike should have been straightforward for Lyudmila. Despite the unpredictable Siberian weather, August is usually safe for such expeditions, but just days into their journey, something would go horribly wrong, something that only one person would live to tell. Fast forward to August 5th. The group was near the end of their trek, high up in the mountains. The weather was rough that day, with cold rain and strong winds whipping around them. But what happened next was something far beyond the challenges of nature. According to the only survivor, Valentina Udachenko, the group began to experience something horrifying. Without warning, the youngest member of the group, Sasha, suddenly collapsed to the ground, foaming at the mouth and convulsing. The rest of the group rushed to help him, but they were too late. Sasha passed away in minutes, leaving them in shock. And then, it got even stranger. Soon after, the others in the group began displaying the same symptoms. One by one, they collapsed, convulsing, bleeding from their mouths and gasping for air. Valentina watched, terrified, as her friends died in front of her, struck by some invisible force. By some miracle, Valentina managed to avoid the mysterious symptoms that claimed her friends. In a daze, she struggled down the mountain alone, managing to survive on minimal food and sheer willpower. Days later, she stumbled upon another hiking group who helped her get back to safety. When rescue teams eventually reached the site, they found the bodies exactly as Valentina had described. Twisted, bloodied, and lifeless. With her story confirmed by the body's positions and conditions, authorities were left with an unnerving question. What could have caused such a horrific and sudden demise? The Kamar Daban incident left investigators and the public scratching their heads. With no clear answers, several theories emerged, each one as chilling as the last. One of the earliest theories was poisoning. Some experts suggest the hikers may have accidentally ingested poisonous plants or drank contaminated water, but skeptics argue that it's unlikely they would all have identical, violent reactions at the same time. Hypothermia was another suggestion. The severe weather could have led to confusion and disorientation, but Valentina's description of foaming at the mouth and convulsions doesn't match typical hypothermia symptoms. Then, there's the theory of secret military testing. Some believe that the hikers stumbled into an area where weapons testing or chemical experiments were happening, perhaps without the public's knowledge. But there was no official evidence of military activity in the region at that time. Finally, we have the paranormal. With the strange symptoms and violent deaths, some have speculated about supernatural forces or phenomena beyond our understanding. While there's no scientific basis for this theory, the sheer eeriness of the incident has kept imaginations alive for years. Over 30 years later, the Kamar Daban incident remains unsolved. Valentina Utachenko's story is the only account of what happened on that mountainside. And as the years go by, answers seem less and less likely. Why did these young hikers meet such violent, mysterious ends? We may never know. But one thing's for sure. The Siberian wilderness holds secrets, some of which may never be revealed. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And tell us in the comments, what do you think happened in the Kamar Daban Mountains? Was it a natural disaster, a cover-up, or something beyond our understanding?